Baroness Smith of Basildon. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question on the order paper in my name. My Lords, the Government is in the process of assessing the benefits of next generation reactor technologies, including thorium, for the longer term, and the Secretary of State has asked the National Nuclear Laboratory to prepare a report. A previous NNL assessment of a number of claims made by proponents of thorium fuel concluded that whilst the theoret theoretical science is reasonably sound, the risk and resources involved in achieving commercial deployment are very significant. I'm grateful to Noble Lord for his response. I think it is helpful and I welcome certainly the fact that the government is taking this more seriously because he will understand that despite greater acceptance of nuclear power, there remain concerns about nuclear waste, both because of its potential military or terrorist use, and also the costs and difficulties, as he and I have discussed on many occasions, of long-term storage as it can't be disposed of. Now, with liquid fluoride thorium reactors, no high-level waste material is generated, and it can also reduce the existing stockpiles of existing waste. So given that, as much as I welcome the government's assessment and the report expecting, is there more the government can do to test the technology, but also on a wider basis, has he given any thought in his department to whether this is a technology for nuclear power that could be safely developed in all parts of the world? Well, I'm grateful for the uh, noble Baroness's question. Uh, the reality is that uh, we have waste, so it's not going to improve the nucle nuclear waste. Uh, this government is very concentrated at the moment on uh, recovering from 25 years of no nuclear activity with what we've got. And we've got to concentrate on the reactors that are available that we've had approval for in order to get our next generation nuclear power off the ground. We know fully that thorium reactors will take 10 to 15 years to develop. There is a high cost in that development. And at the moment, I wouldn't put it as a priority unless the research report that comes out in the summer, end of this summer, uh, um, uh, advises us otherwise. Um, well, very interesting work. My Lord, my Lord, please forgive my ignorance, but what is thorium? <laughs> well, um, if only my uh, O-level science teacher could see me now. Uh, I'm very grateful to the noble Baroness for this question because uh, clearly I've learnt quite a lot about it recently. It is, of course, for those that wish to know, thank you very much, um, it is named after the Norse god Thor. Um, it is, uh, comes out of monazite sands, which um, are largely found in India and Norway. It uh, is generated by a sifting process, and I know the noble Baroness will be pleased to hit, know that it's diamorphic. <laughs> Uh, which uh, I, I am happy to explain means that it changes uh, face to body. But there are far greater qualified noble lords here to let us know about thorium than me. Uh, all I would say is that it requires, one, it requires two neutrons to process it rather than one. And uh, there are all sorts of other facts that she can find in Wikipedia, as indeed I did. <laughs> my lord, my lord, my lord. My lords, uh, would the noble minister agree with me that this is actually quite a serious topic? Um, we have just seen a, a disaster in Japan that has reminded us that the current existing technology of nuclear has inherent problems. Thorium is much safer. It doesn't generate waste, as my, as my noble friend has, uh, has alluded to. It cannot, uh, be, uh, it can, it cannot uh, lead to proliferation of weapons that lead to terrorism. And it is it's, um, a very abundant and very available um, source of fuel. And, unlike uranium. So I mean, it really is quite a serious thing. And I would, would you agree that, and given the advantages, that you should have um, a programme for developing proof of concept of this technology? Okay. Uh, well, obviously, I'm uh, very aware of the noble Baroness's views. I've read about them in The Guardian a couple of weeks ago. Excellent article, by the way, and uh, most thoughtful in this particular subject. But the reality is um, the nuclear uh, accident she was referring to in Japan has not uh, caused loss of life. Uh, it is something that we have reacted calmly to. We are committed to the course I have just amplified. We do not have government uh, funds available at the moment to explore new technologies. But, as I said earlier, if the uh, National Nuclear Laboratory come up with other suggestions at the end of the summer, we will be very happy to listen to those and explore them further.
My Lords, my Lords um, while some very interesting developments and work has been done in India on the thorium-based reactor systems, um, is it not true that even those who feel the research is very useful do also admit that it will remain very much a second string for a long time? And is it not vitally important that the government should not be diverted from building the, for the fastest possible program of building nuclear power stations? Uh, and should it not be noted by the anti-nuclear lobbies that the German decision to close down nuclear power will make Germany much more dependent on fossil fuels and will greatly increase the carbon emissions from Germany? Yeah. Uh, well, the noble lord makes a uh, noble friend makes a very valuable point. I, 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 in India, he of course is referring to the CAC wrapper plant, which um, uh, the Indians are uh, trying to develop. Um, Clearly, we must press on with our nuclear program. We are disappointed that Germany has taken a different attitude. I want to pay credit to all those people who are involved in the nuclear industry and in this debate, uh, particularly in this House, who have kept a very steady nerve whilst all around us is going, uh, is, is going pear-shaped. And uh, as a result, we will come out with a very uh, uh, careful and committed process for a new nuclear generation. Agree with me that we must fully fund R&D in nuclear, including thorium, so we develop a mature understanding of this. But almost more importantly, we focus our R&D in such a way that we enable our industry to bid effectively for the contracts that will be put out to build our nuclear plants, as indeed the Germans have done in the supply of train carriages. Uh, I think the noble lord was referring to training in particular. Is that uh, uh, the point he's making? And of course, uh, we have to show a very clear pathway, as we've recently done. Last week, we announced six new sites for nuclear reactors. Clearly, we have to develop a training program for the 60,000 jobs that are going to be required in that nuclear industry. And uh, the government remains very committed to it. Next. Lord Sheik. My lords, I beg leave to ask the question. Order. 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 We must move on to the next question.